Welcome back to the basement of the friendliest place on YouTube. Mail is what we're doing today. We're opening said mail, and I'm really excited about it. That's right. We got a package here from Riley in Bixby, Oklahoma. Ted's going to open that. Oh, I'm so excited. It's a white box. And I've got a letter here, and I'm going to open it after that. Somebody told me that they wanted to see the actual opening of the box. And they're like, you should do like a... They should, do, they should do like a unboxing video where you point the camera perfectly at it, and then you like use a knife. And I'm like, guys, it takes us long enough to set. Up I was, that's what I was this. saying. I was like, I was like, uh, if we have to do that every time, we probably just won't do mail videos. I think we'd rather. Maybe one day we could have like a separate camera and a separate table and separate lighting and a separate microphone and a separate computer and no. all and a separate Jam. separatism, and separate lights. <laughs> Ah! How do you open this? First you must not be dunce, then you figure out with common sense. I'm going to <laughs> just break the box. Oh, there we go. Or you could do like both and open uh, like Oh, both. I could have opened the side of the box. <gasps> what get to Oh the... my gosh, Peter! It's a... there it's some sort of craft. Is it edible? <gasps> Somebody crafted us a thing. Yoshi's Crafty World. I'm gonna move my- Oh my gosh! Oh, yeah! That is adorable! <laughs> you can't see it! <laughs> it's got green on his face, it's a- It's a tuck! This is the coolest thing ever! It's a yeah! Yeah, it's a Korok seed! Oh, it's a Korok! That is so awesome! And there's, an, there's another one! So is that- is Peter! That, is that crochet? Peter! How do? Oh, show that one. This is the red screen. And then look at little. Oh, oh! Oh, it's the Korok seeds. <laughs> and the Koroks. <laughs> oh my goodness! This is the coolest thing ever. Yeah, this is super ultra cool. Good job, Riley. Oh my gosh! Did How you did make you these? Do this. Who made these? Okay, hold on. There, I think there might be a letter with this. Is this crochet? Oh, it's a picture of Riley. Oh, thank you. Adorable. We. Yeah. Oh, it's, these are so flipping cool. It's really neat to see faces on, <laughs> like. Wow. Basement dwellers, because every one of you is just a real human. Oop, oop, there's a letter in the bottom. I like might have opened it in the wrong order. Because I, I destroyed this box like a fool. Ah, the box is. Um, <laughs> Tweehee! <laughs> Tweehee! It says in the back of the invisible letter that you <laughs> yes. can't see. This is cool. Green's I like green. when people send us things in green. Yeah. Okay, to the basement. Korok. Yeah, ha You found us! Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> oh, because then, like, later it's like, pee <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Or, like, you throw a rock and they go, oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is, oh my gosh! This, uh, this, that's amazing. And this is so cool. These are, um, okay, so Peter, which one stays at your house and which one stays at my house? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I... Because, I mean, your basement is the basement, but, I mean, there's only so much shelf space, and... Yeah. No, my, one of them has to stay my, here. I think, I mean, there's going to be a lot of green screen action. Yeah, I think red here. face should stay here, and so green face off. should come with me. Well, Peter, there you go, sir. Riley, thank you. Thank you. This is amazing. This is so flippin' cute. My my daughter is going to probably play with this. <laughs> and this maybe is my amazing. wife. amazing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then these. Oh, then you get which which, which, which Korok CD? Oh, one? I don't know. The, All right. the one that's supposed to be? Woohoo! <laughs> so great. Incredible. Yeah. All right. Amazing. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that. Riley. This this mailbox thing Bubbing is like out. really cool. I know. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving ago. it. Okay. All right. Did we miss anything in there? I just I want know. to make sure we didn't. No, we're good. Hey, so we found a letter that, that did uh, fall out of that box. Let's read it. This letter is from Riley. It says, Dear Peter and Ted, my name is Riley and I'm 16 years old. I've been watching your channel for about one year and I love it. You guys make me laugh every time I watch. Aww. I absolutely love your dad jokes and puns. <laughs> yes. My favorite joke that you told is the one about the music and the decomposer. <laughs> do you remember that? I do. You're probably making sounds on the microphone. Just the decomposer. <clears throat> 
That All was right. not a very good joke. The, <laughs> I don't even remember that joke. That's how bad it was, Peter. The Koroks that I hand crocheted for you are just to say thank you. I'd be honored if you guys checked out my Facebook page. Riley's Yarn Goodies. Oh, definitely we're going to check that out. Heck yes. Um, I have lots of other crocheted items on there. I've sold lots of bunnies for a missions trip I'm going on for spring break. I hope you both enjoy the page. Anyway, pray you'll keep making these videos for as long as you possibly can. You guys are awesome. You're truly the friendliest place on YouTube. Again, thank you for making amazing content that you do. Love you guys. Sincerely yours, Riley. Ooh, P.S. I created a Mario Maker level that I'd love for you guys to play. But it's on the first Mario Maker, so if you don't play it, I understand. And then here's the ID. Ooh, that'd be kind of fun to break out. I've got Mario no Maker. problem with that. If yeah. people want to send us old Mario Maker levels, we will certainly consider playing them on the channel. Especially, especially if you send us mail in the mail. <laughs> I know, you kind of, you sort of like go up the list a little bit. <laughs> P.O. Box 95, I'm telling you. That's the, that's the P.O. Box, the friendliest P.O. Box on the planet. Riley, where are you going on your missions trip? Let us know in the comments below. Yeah. All right, here we have a letter from Chi Panda. This is from Memphis, Tennessee. Some of you guys may remember Chi Panda's uh, fiction about the basement and ancillary basement characters that made appearances for a while in our Breath of the Wild series. Let's see what we get here. Okay. Ooh, there's two pieces of paper. I see multiples. I don't know why we're talking in weird accent today. Oh, that's... Oh, that's a P.S., so we have to read that post-script. Yeah. <laughs> post? In the post? Post? Dear script. Ted and Peter from The Basement. Well, hold on. Okay, you guys need to know that this letter has The Basement, like... Every time it says The Basement, it's in green. And it's using the font. <sighs> yeah. I'm pretty sure uh, Cheap Panda was actually asking which font we use, and I told, I told them. I well, said, there you go. I said, uh, it's called Digitech, and they found it. Greetings from Memphis, Tennessee. I am G Panda. It is September 11th, 2019 as I write this. I'm very excited to be sending a letter to Elk River, Minnesota. Home of the basement. My alma mater. I have a few things to say, though sending a letter via snail mail is old fashioned. Snail mail, put in quotes. I find it a bit more personal than a Discord message or an email. I am thankful to be as blessed as I am. I have a lovely home, a brilliant school, a great church, and a YouTube channel that helped me find my passion. It's called The Basement. Wow, we helped them find their passion? Cool. It all started in 2016 when I saw a commercial for the Nintendo Switch. In the commercial, a man played games on the go and the TV. I knew this console was for me. It was just what I wanted my Wii U to be. Yeah, for real. <laughs> That's everybody. <laughs> like, once I started playing the Wii U without a TV, mm -hmm. like, I would, like, move it places. I'd bring it to the bedroom and plug you it in. You even brought it on like, the train. Oh, yeah, and then I would bring it on the train riding to work. I was like, <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, it was just what I wanted my Wii U to be. He was playing an interesting game, the guy in the commercial. A blonde boy jumped off a cliff, opened a paraglider, and ventured off into a giant world before him. Playing Breath of the Wild was a surreal experience for me. It opened my imagination and my sense of wonder. It helped expand my creative mind. Cool. Through my interest in the game, I found a YouTube channel. Two Minnesota dads sat in a basement and played games. I was instantly hooked. For the past few years, I've watched every new video and have become very active on the Discord server. Yes, you have. Gina. Even being promoted to moderator. Congratulations. Congrats, bro. After my first year as a dweller, an idea came into my head. Ever since I was six, I had been writing stupid stories until I became a teenager and lost all interest. Oh. Life just has a way of beating the dreams hey, out of Hey, stupid you. stories are better than no stories. That's true. Write your stories. Breath of the Wild rejuvenated my passion for creativity, and I thought, what if I became the first to write a The Basement fan fiction? I love that every time you say The Basement instead of Basement. So, what if I became the first to write a The Basement fan fiction? Yes. It's like my other car is uh, The Basement. <laughs> <laughs> we need to make those bumper stickers, dude. I'm telling you. I quickly planned a short story, a story I could pop out in a month, like the ones I wrote as a child. Boy, was I sore mistaken. After the first episode, the community responded to it with love and motivated me to write more. A year later, and nine videos of reading the story on the channel, the story had grown into a full-length fan novel. <laughs> The experience it really has. helped me grow closer to people all across the world, united under a common interest of, of the basement. I have reignited my passion for storytelling and entertaining people. I'm currently a senior in high school, 
And after school, I want to pursue my dreams as a writer. That is so cool. Awesome. That is amazing. And you are a great writer, yeah. by the way. Please do pursue that because it is worth it. Uh, you know what's cool about writing? It lasts like you, you, you make something and then you have it, right? If you figure out how to publish it in some form or fashion, it lasts forever. Yeah. Yeah. It's way cool. Like no one can take it away from you. Uh, in this letter, I've included a picture of myself, the handsome man in sunglasses. By the way, we're not going to be showing pictures of basement dwellers on camera right. in the videos, but we will see them and appreciate them as Ted and Peter, real human beings behind the channel. That yeah, is we don't want to like accidentally dox somebody. Right. Uh, the handsome man in sunglasses. And a picture of my less than handsome alter ego. But that's beside the point. It must be <laughs> two pictures of you and one's like... Like dual personality, you know, like Got James it. Bond and or yeah. like Clark I'm, Kent. I'm dapper, and I'm just, and then I'm just <clears throat> me. There's also cover art for the novel, which I'm calling Cheap Pandas: The Basement. Cover text not final. <laughs> I've also included a picture of the map of the world the story primarily takes place in. Thanks to my friend cool. A N I E S for doing the cover. How would you say that? A wait, where where is it? Anise. And. Anais? Please tell us how to pronounce that name. I think it's Gina. Anais, like in that show. Anais. Uh, That's uh, a beautiful uh, name. Yeah, it, uh, Gum Gumball. Amazing World of Gumball. His little sister's name is Anais, and I wonder if that's how you spell it. So we'll we'll stick with that for now. So thanks to my friend Anais for doing the cover, and Zeal from the Discord for the map. Cool. Undertale the Human, or Derpu, as we call her. Derpu. <laughs> <laughs> has also done some concept art to help me and others envision what I've written. Thanks to my editors, Keen Eye, The Collective, uh, Christiana, Christina, you're right, yep. DSC, yep. and Bergner. Yeah! Though they struggled to edit due to their adult lives, I appreciate <laughs> their willingness to help me. It's so cool that a senior in high school, who was a sophomore in high school, found the channel, reignited creativity, found a writing passion, and is conversing with adults making friends in different areas different all that across are editing the and uh, and like there's art uh, it's so cool i i don't remember the first time i saw a picture of um two basement dollars hanging out and it was i think i saw it was a picture of kenai hanging out with hill dragon yeah and i was like we're bringing people together <laughs> it was really cool <laughs> And now they're happily married. <laughs> to no, just people. <laughs> yeah, to others. To others. <laughs> Though they struggle to edit due to their adult lives, I appreciate their willingness to help me. Thanks to the 30 plus dwellers who have joined my book's dedicated server and who wow. love to read the new episodes when they release. Also, thanks to them for watching my stupid sketches on YouTube. I'm currently writing the seventh episode, and the fifth episode has recently been released on the server. So far, I have sent four episodes to your email, so let me know in your mail video whether or not you would like me to send the fifth episode and whether or not to send it via the email again or Ted's Discord's DMs, whichever is easier for you. A, yes, because whether it hits the channel or not, I just enjoy reading it. I know Ted does too. Send it to the email. Uh, that works great and uh, we will see it. Yeah, we'll definitely see it that way. The DMs, my DM box, honestly, in the Discord gets pretty packed. It's hard to keep up with that. But the oh. email is a little easier to sort. I hope we can work out a new way to read it, as the last Breath of the Wild video it was featured in was back in February. It's been yes, a while. It's true. When I eventually finish the book, I hope to self-print it and be able to keep a copy for myself and send one to you guys. Thanks for inspiring others and changing lives through your channel. Dweller forever, Chi Panda. Wow. That is really, really awesome. And inspirational for, for not just us, hopefully for everybody watching this video. Yeah. Like... Explore your dreams and your passions and like actually go after them. Yeah. Because as Gandhi once said, <laughs> I explore forgot the your passions <laughs> and pursue them. Um, no, he said yeah. something. He said he said something uh, about um, what what the world needs is uh, shoot. Never mind. There's a good quote out there. Google it. <laughs> Important point. When you are consuming content, 
Notice the people around you in the comment section or if there's a Discord or whatever. Like, become a part of whatever community that content creator is fostering and see if you make some friends and see if you can uh, give somebody some advice. You know, if they're if you're a music whiz and they're a music fledgling and they ask you a question, answer it. It's like... It's so neat to see people coming together and helping each other out and, and the mentor-protege stuff and, and all that. Stuff. You ready for the false script? Yes. P.S. Here's a Super Mario Maker 2 code. It's probably already in the queue, but maybe this will get it further up the list. Question mark. Okay, then we have two pictures of Cheap Panda, one with sunglasses and one without. And then the map. Oh, and a really cool basement cover art, too. Here, that I'm gonna... is way cool. That basement cover art makes me and you look like really cool people. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not as cool as we look in the cover art. And let's see if we can get a shot of that. Oh, of course, the green is disappearing. I can go up a little bit higher. Yeah, you can barely see it. But yeah, that's... That's, that's us standing there in the mountains. That is wicked cool. If you've got a soft copy file of that. Thank you for making me have anime hair. I've always wanted to have anime hair, but uh, <laughs> it's kind of just un unshowered anime hair. It's too short for that. Um, if you if you have that file somewhere and you want to send it to us, like a soft copy of that image, yeah, uh, we or it's posted somewhere and you want to send us a link, we could like put that in the comments below and people could like look at it on the computer screen Absolutely. instead of through the camera. Wow. What an outstanding mail episode today. If you guys want to get in on the mail videos, send us something to P.O. Box 95 in Elk River, Minnesota, 55330. You could go to great lengths. You could go to short lengths. Um, write us a poem. Write us a sentence. Draw us a picture. Uh, t t tell us what your favorite snack is. Ask us a trivia question. We'll answer it in the mail video. Um, anything you like. We love getting mail from you guys, and uh, we hope you guys like watching the mail get opened here in The Basement. A very important part of how The Basement is able to bring you the content that we do daily is our wonderful YouTube sponsors and Patreon patrons listed on the screen now. If you would like to join this amazing group of people who are helping The Basement to make even more content and do even more streams, you can go ahead and click the link in the description or on the screen right now. And we'd love to have you join us in making The Basement not just the friendliest place on YouTube, but the most awesome place on the planet. In our solar system. In our universe. In, in the, the basement. basement.